story about Mother Lakshmi and her association with Diwali. And in particular, I'll tell you about the story of um, the Milky Ocean and how Mother Lakshmi disappeared in there and came back to us. So if you see a picture of Mother Lakshmi, she's a beautiful woman with two lotus in both hands, with four arms, two lotus here. One is giving blessings to you and the other one is pouring out wealth to you. So she's known as the mother of wealth and purity. So long time ago, the this guy called Indra, he was <laughs> given the job to some coffee, boy. Oh, <laughs> to, 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 rule, to rule the world and do good over evil. And he was doing a real good job. But you know, after a while, sometimes you listening to me? Yes, you listening to this story? No. I think he's starting to drink coffee. Well, come on, listen, now. listen to the story. So, anyways, um, one day now, Indra was walking through the forest and this very learned sage gave him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're telling you the story, you better listen because we want you to know it. There'll be a quiz afterwards. So anyways, the sage gave him this, gave um, Indra this mala, and the mala was very powerful, but Indra was, he had become like arrogant because he, you know, he was getting this, taking care of the world and, and it went to his head. So he had all his powers because Mother Lakshmi was there guiding him and showing him the way and that was what made him so successful. But when she saw what he did, when he disrespected that mala and dis disrespected the sage, she thought, I am not going to stay here anymore. I'm going to go into the, um, into the milky ocean. And this is exactly what she did. So in the meantime now, okay, the, the, the gods are losing, the demons are, are taking over the world and we're having a lot of craziness going on. You understand? Okay, so um, the, the, so the, the Indra decided now he's going to go to Lord Vishnu to ask him what can we do, what can be done. So Vishnu said, well, you have to go back and churn the ocean of milk to get Mother Lakshmi back. So indeed, they decide to do that. They got, you know, it's a big katana and all that kind of stuff. So, But to make it short, you understand it, right? For this person to understand. They went back to the, he went, they gathered up everything that they needed to gather and go churn the milky ocean to get Mother Lakshmi back. So they churned and churned and churned and story has it, it was a thousand years after that Mother Lakshmi, but things started appearing, good things started coming out of the ocean and one of them was Mother Lakshmi. So when she returned, um, she was able to help Indra and the gods gain control of the world and everything was good again. So the moral of this story is it highlights good fortune and success that um, Mother Lakshmi bestows upon you. And it says that um, we must never be complacent or arrogant and, su and as such success can, you know, get away from us. And we know that, right? If you have too much, sometimes it can go to your head. So that is why um, it all coincides with, as um, Nandini was saying, with the... There she is. <laughs> it all coincides with, um, with Lord Rama and Sita and Lakshman returning from the forest. So Mother Lakshmi is said to be... Sita is said to be a reincarnation of Mother Lakshmi. And for this, she is celebrated, especially on the, seventh, on the second day of Diwali. But, you know, in Trinidad, where we come from, Mother Lakshmi and Diwali is synonymous. So, that's my story for you. I hope everyone gets the story right.